things that the thing that these four engines have in common is that they were all made in metalwork classes in school or well, presumably so anyway because that's how they were all intended to be made the these two were designed by a chap called Mr Weller and he taught in two schools Port Lodge and Old, Old Bree Manor this one's called Court Lodge Mark 1 this one's called the Old Bree Manor Mark 4 presumably there were Mark 1, 2 and 3 I don't know these two were designed by a chap called Kenneth Wells and he actually wrote a book um, describing many uh, different metalwork projects two of which were steam engines these two know how much water these take and none of them have water level gauges or overflow plugs or any other means of checking the water level so I know from from the past Notice that the two Weller engines are very similar design, except that one is somewhat larger than the other. Um, apparently, when Mr. Weller changed schools, he, uh, he changed the design of the engine. So that uh, A, it was a bit smaller and used less materials and so cost less to make. Uh, but also, um, I'm guessing um, the newer school used uh, metric measurements, whereas the old one used imperial. That's purely a guess. I don't know about that. I don't have a burner for the Aubrey Manor engine, so I borrowed one from Bowman. Now, uh, it's a lot bigger than I'm guessing the uh, original should be. Um, I no, don't really know how much mess to put in it. I'm not going to fill it up, but I know from past experience over the years the typical ratio of water to maths is about 5 to 1. So I'm going to put in about a fifth of the water capacity. 
quarter of ounce. And we'll keep an eye on it. Incidentally, I've never had the Aubrey Manor engine in steam yet. So I'm hoping it'll work. Going to the wells, traction engine, I don't have a burner, so I'm using a manard on. I know this one works all right because I've tried it before. to be out of gas on that lighter. Let's try this one. quite sure how you're supposed to oil these inverted cylinders. Let's see if this one might be almost up to steam. Right, 
fine in a bit. Almost. go in. We better move this one because the exhaust is flowing directly into the firebox of the next one. Better. It's now flowing directly onto my fingers but not too bad. The flywheel making it slippery. Stationary and well traction engine. He's about to run out on his camera, so I think I'll stop it there.